Hi, I'm Dr. Larry Earle, Medical Director of NADME, the National Academy of DOT Medical Examiners. For the next few minutes, I'd like to tell you about the NRCME, the National Registry of Certified Medical Examiners. Docs, nurse practitioners, and PAs, if you're currently performing DOT commercial driver exams, do you know what happens May 21st, 2014? You'll no longer be able to perform those DOT exams. It's likely that you're in the pool of over 400,000 MDs, DOs, chiropractors, nurse practitioners, and PAs currently available to perform DOT commercial driver exams. Unlike FAA examiners, there's been no established training or examination process for performing DOT exams. So right now, there's an inadequate understanding of the relationship between driver health and the job of commercial driving. This leads to improper medical certification of unhealthy drivers resulting in more crashes, contributing to the over 125,000 large truck and bus related injuries each year and over 5,000 deaths. So the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration has established the NRCME, the National Registry of Certified Medical Examiners, to promote highway safety and reduce crashes, injuries, and fatalities. The National Registry ruling addresses four NTSB recommendations for a more comprehensive medical oversight program for interstate drivers. The first is that driver medical examiners are qualified and educated about occupational issues of commercial driving. Second is to establish a tracking mechanism that ensures that every prior application for medical certification by a driver is recorded and reviewed. Have you ever failed a driver only to have him go to his family doctor to get certified? This will prevent so-called doctor shopping and require drivers to be compliant with medical recommendations. Third, periodic updating of medical certification recommendations, enabling examiners to clearly determine whether drivers with certain conditions should be issued a medical certificate. And finally, medical examiners will have specific guidance and readily available resources for questions arising out of commercial driver exams. So if you want to keep doing commercial driver physicals after May 21st, 2014, you have to get trained, take the certification exam, and be listed on the National Registry. This is where motor carriers will go to find only certified medical examiners. NRCME training programs will cover eight core curriculum topics. The mission and goals of FMCSA medical examiners' role in reducing crashes, injuries, and fatalities involving commercial motor vehicles. Medical examiners should have an understanding of the work environment of CMV operations. Identification of the driver, documenting medical history and medications. Performing and documenting the medical examination. Diagnostic testing, including ordering additional tests or getting medical opinions from specialists or the treating physician. Informing and educating the driver about medications and medical conditions requiring attention. Determining certification status and time period of certification. FMCSA reporting and documentation requirements. FMCSA estimates out of the pool of 400,000 providers currently available to perform CMV exams, only about 40,000 would be needed to be trained and certified to accommodate the approximately 6 million drivers needing exams every year. So first you need to get trained. Then to get certified, you have to provide FMCSA with your state medical license, business address and phone number, medical training provider and documentation, and several affirmations. FMCSA will then issue an approval to take the certification exam. The computerized test consists of 120 multiple choice questions, will be proctored, and has a two-hour time limit. Pass-fail results will be given immediately at the testing site, with the first tests expected to be given after August 2012. Medical examiners will also need to take a refresher course every five years and recertify every 10 years. The FMCSA will monitor medical examiner performance and can remove an examiner from the registry if he or she shows patterns of errors or improperly certifies a driver who fails to meet applicable standards. So don't be this guy. Get trained and be this guy. How do you get trained? Easy. Go to nadme.org, N-A-D-M-E dot org, the National Academy of DOT Medical Examiners. It's convenient, delivered completely online, so no classroom or travel time involved. It's easy to use and includes all course materials, a student workbook, downloads of medical advisory reports, and other useful resources.
There are 14 modules, each with a quiz and a final exam to receive your certificate of completion and up to 18 Category 1 CME credits. So that's it. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. Larry Earle, Medical Director for NADME. Come visit us at nadme.org.